With the CW announcing the final season of Riverdale, fans can't help but wonder if we're going to be seeing more characters from the original Archie comics. The last six seasons were a roller coaster ride, introducing us to some intriguing characters. Fans can't help but post about it on Reddit. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at who might make an appearance in the season finale. First up, Mary Andrews. Mary Andrews has been a frequent presence on the show since it started, but she has always been in the background. Fans have always felt she didn't have much of a presence and was always like an extra. Even in the aftermath of Fred's death, Mary didn't stick around as much and has never been the focus of much of the storylines. You would think they would make a regular character after she gains full custody of Archie. While FP and Alice have had their share of story arcs, Mary's narrative has always been in the shadows for the majority of the series run. It's kind of strange because she's supposed to be Archie's mom and you'd think she'd play a bigger role in the series than this. Well, here's hoping we finally see her make more appearances in the final season. Then, we have Ethel Muggs. It seems that the show's creators never really knew what to do with Ethel's character. They only introduced her as a sexual harassment victim, later trying to turn her into something more. But it seems that the writers were confused about how they could manage the character better. They wrote her off as a Griffins and Gargoyles player, turned Gargoyle King cult member. She turned herself in for her crimes and was subsequently put in protection from both the Gargoyle King and the Black Hood. Finding out how Ethel is doing now would be a great way to round out her arc, especially since the Archie Comics brand released a new webtoon titled Big Ethel Energy, putting a new spin on the character. The adult version of the character has been traumatized by her tough childhood, mainly because of the way she was treated by the core Archie Comics characters, and the webtoon is set around her return to her hometown as an adult. Well, we're hoping that she finds gets the justice she deserves and comes out an even stronger character. We can't wait to see what happens. Up next, Stacy Banks. Stacy might not have been the most popular character in the original Archie comics, but we feel she's one that would fit the vibe of Riverdale. Like Veronica in the series, this young lady has a great entrepreneurial spirit, as she's been running her own business from a pretty young age. She's made out to be the brains behind a major company and is also a biracial pansexual character that falls for Veronica's cousin in the comics. Introducing Stacy would allow for more representation for a show that hasn't handled that element all too well in the past. Plus, it could give a potential new love interest to the established queer character in the series, Cheryl Blossom. Next is Harper Lodge. Not gonna lie, we're actually pretty sick of the Lodges, except of course, Veronica. Her father and mother are the constant villains we don't want to deal with. Frankly speaking, Riverdale could use something fresh to spice things up. And that's why we believe that Harper Lodge would make an excellent character addition to the show. Harper is an Archie Comics character who not only is bisexual, but unlike the Lodges who are white in the comics, she's Latina. She is Veronica's cousin and is also a person with a disability, something entirely new to the comics and not explored much in the Riverdale universe. What makes her so fascinating is not only her connection to the Lodges, but also her interest in Reggie. Since Reggie has been paired with her cousin, it would be pretty interesting to see how Harper's arrival at Riverdale would make Veronica feel. Plus, the series could introduce her through her profession, a fashion designer. Somebody's got to be giving Veronica her amazing outfits, so why not just use this Latina goddess to design them? And now, Josie and the Pussycats. Okay, we're going to be honest. We're actually disappointed by the show's creators for not including these beauties enough. Josie and the Pussycats never got the treatment they deserved by Riverdale, despite their larger-than-life status in pop culture. Josie and her bandmates are perhaps the more recognizable parts of the Archie universe, even for those who haven't read the comics or are familiar with the series. From the animated 70s series to the 2001 musical comedy film starring Rosario Dawson, Rachel Lee Cook, and Tara Reid, the musical trio of Riverdale have successfully made a name for themselves in pop culture. So you can understand why the fans have been disappointed with the creators treating them like they're not even important to the plot. We're hoping we'll see more of Josie and the Pussycats in the final season. Up next, The Mighty Crusaders. Before you laugh, it's important to note that the show is now exploring and adding supernatural slash sci-fi elements to its storyline by giving Betty and Archie superpowers. The Mighty Crusaders include the Black Hood, although we'd appreciate they don't bring the serial killer version back. The Comet, 
the shield, the hangman, and the fly. Fans are more than open to the idea of Riverdale turning into something more than a teen romance turned mystery series. And if they decide to explore that, there are chances they might even bring in Sabrina Spellman from the chilling adventures of Sabrina as a regular. They did bring her in for a brief moment, and fans are hoping for more. Now, in other related news, KJ Appa promises we are going to end it with a bang in CW series seventh and final season. As the CW often has done at its upfront presentations, the marquee final slot that closed the event today was given to a signature series that is coming to an end. CW announced that the upcoming seventh season of Riverdale will be its last. The chairman and CEO, Mark Pedowitz, spoke of the series' legacy before introducing series star KJ Appa, who plays Archie in the Archic Comics adaptation. The actor said that he felt immensely sad having to say goodbye to the crew, producers, set, and the CW family. He further added that he could speak for everyone when he said he was grateful for everything, the fans, and the support they received. He ended the speech with, I promise you guys, this last season, we are going to end it with a bang, and we can't wait to share it with you. Next, Riverdale to end with season 7 at CW to premiere in 2023. Looks like Pop's Diner is closing its doors for good. Riverdale will end its run on the CW at the conclusion of its upcoming seventh season. Riverdale joins a number of CW dramas on the chopping block. The network also axed Dynasty, Charmed, Naomi, 4400, In the Dark, and Roswell. The CW's atypical bloodbath of cancellations this season is likely due to the network's rumored upcoming sale, perhaps to the next star affiliate group, and thus its uncertain future. Season 6 of Riverdale kicked off last fall with a five-episode Riverdale event that saw Archie and crew face a macabre series of supernatural adventures, with Kiernan Shipka stopping by to reprise her Netflix role as teen witch Sabrina Spellman. It then returned in March with a new time slot and a fresh nemesis in Percival Pickens, Chris O'Shea, the posh newcomer who quickly took over the town with his mysterious mind control powers. But don't worry, Archie, Betty, Jughead, and Cheryl soon learned they had mysterious powers of their own. Up next, Riverdale's Betty has a new female love interest. Betty tells Veronica that Dr. Jillian Drake, a new FBI agent in town who works with her, has a love for her in an exclusive sneak peek from Riverdale's June 12th episode. Veronica tries to give some insight, but is immediately dismissed by Betty, who thinks that everyone compartmentalizes with everyone. Now, whether that is true or not, she is told by Ronnie that she should not approach things so rashly. She further tells her friend that most of her relationships ended because they arrived too late, or Veronica didn't have the necessary conversations that were needed. We'd say that's pretty good advice. We're just waiting to see what Betty will do next. Will she approach the new love interest, or will things go south with this one too? Lastly, Cole Sprouse reveals most of the cast wants the show to end. Despite fans being excited for the seventh season of Riverdale, Cole Sprouse, who plays Jughead, has revealed that most of the cast wants to put an end to Riverdale. The actor was forthright in his remarks, revealing that the majority of the show's cast members are eager to close it up with a bow. He went on to say that he and his co-stars are eager to move on with their lives. While he is grateful for the show, he is looking forward to furthering his own development as an actor. He further revealed that he doesn't have the creative freedom to decide things for the show, since he's just an actor. Well, we hope for the best, and good luck to all of the cast. That's a wrap for this video. Who's your favorite from Riverdale, and why do you love them so much? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.